I taught poetry with the Friends of the Children of Mississippi and I had them writing poems because a lot of them were activists and they were seeing and experiencing horrible things. One of my students was beaten very badly and tortured in jail and he showed up with all his bruises and he had written new poetry. Poetry comes naturally from that wellspring of being present to life. It's a lot of living and a lot of time. Well, my kindergarten and first grade teacher would read poetry to us. I thought it was as beautiful as music. I started writing poetry as a teenager, longing, nostalgic, loved poetry. Probably terrible. I hope I've burnt it. I mean, I was unable to dissect the fetal pig in Zoology 1-2, and I went crying to my poetry teacher and said, I'll never be a doctor. And he said, oh, never mind, darling, you're a poet. I became very serious about writing poetry. The type of writing that I do is in many ways about as far away from poetry as you can get, but a big part of the process of writing is metaphor and similes and all the tools of the trade and tricks of the trade. Poetry is one of many ways to, to keep your skills sharp. People actually should never be even asked to try to live without beauty and without poetry.